I have proof that it was Milton Pierce that killed Johannes Vanderberg. Show me what you've got. The murder weapon is in his house, and a pile of bloody clothes. Here's a photograph. I don't know how you managed to pull this off, Reed, but it's impressive work. We'll take it from here. Accusing a mayoral candidate of murder is an interesting challenge, but the Carpenter family has tackled worse. Bye. You've been doing a great job, Mr. Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel. I'm watching you, newcomer. How? How is this possible? At last, Mr. Reed. I heard about your recent case. Let me congratulate you. You've truly outdone yourself this time. A question, if I may. I've got a question. How on earth are you still alive? What can I say? Perhaps next time you should make sure you finished the job. <laughs> it wasn't me and you know it. All this. All I went through and there was no murder to begin with. The prosecution would beg to differ. They had all they needed. A victim, a method, and a culprit. The rest is just bells and whistles. You set me up, you son of a... I only set the scene. I'll... What? Kill me? As amusing as it would be to see you charged with my murder a second time, I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, Mr. Reed. The prophecy. The seal. You have made yourself a part of something momentous. Now, to your latest case. Wonderful execution all round. And I mean that literally. The hanging has been scheduled for next week. Tell me, Mr. Reed, why did you do it? Why condemn a man of such high station for a crime he did not commit? He testified against me, and conspired to have his mother killed. Indeed. His corruption was common knowledge, yet you were the only one who acted upon it. Regardless, I shall call this experiment a success. In fact, you should consider it a taste of your ultimate trial. I don't understand. What do you get from all this? You are headed into the darkness, Mr. Reed. I'm giving you the experience you'll need to find your way through it. No more riddles, Johannes. If you need something from me, talk. I am. You're just not listening. You have a great destiny. Destiny beyond comprehension. To be more than a speck of cosmic dust. To make waves across the universe to end things. And what? Everything. You've suffered in this city from the very beginning. From the moment you were born, in fact. 
Wanting to end it is only natural. But unlike those untold millions before you, you have the power to do so. You can turn mere prophecy into absolute truth. You don't mean... The seal of Kotiganar is in your hands. You possess the key to the gates, and all they hold within. You can close them, and cling to mankind's misery for a few more cruel centuries. Or you can open them, and end it. And you will do the latter. Why? Why would I destroy everything? Because otherwise your life amounts to nothing. Do you know how many chosen few there have been over the centuries? Nameless hordes, sacrificed at the whim of invisible masters. Not unlike those who watered the poppies of Flanders with their blood. But our sacrifices mattered. We won the war. A war with many yet to come. This is your kin's nature, your purpose, to suffer. Your monkeys in an open cage, unwilling to walk out. Only you can make a difference. You can end it all for good. You're wrong. I'll prove it. You will prove nothing. You'll die. And at the next turn of the cycle, another will come along who is brave enough to finish the job. Nevertheless, I cannot abandon you, whether you agree with me or not. Your path is too important, even if your choice is beyond my control. You're right about one thing, at least. There is an archaeologist in this city. He is very close to unraveling the secret of Katigana. And you'll need his help to get inside. His name is Joseph Hill. Here's his address. Talk to him. Earn his favor. This is wrong, Johannes. All of it. And I still have no idea why I should even believe you. The truth is the truth. Whether you believe it or not, you can accept it, or try to put the blindfold back on. It doesn't matter. Farewell, Charles. Whether we speak again or not, I will be watching. And don't lose the seal again, or all your effort in this city would go to waste. We'll meet again, Mr. Reed. Never again, they say. Oh, <laughs>